I'm Samantha Deitcher for Investment Pitch Media. Deerhorn Capital released additional comments regarding its recent NI43101 preliminary economic assessment on its Deerhorn project. The project, a gold-silver tellarium deposit in west-central British Columbia, is located 135 kilometers southwest of the community of Burns Lake and 36 kilometers south of the Huckleberry Mine. The PEA noted important porphyry-style occurrences of both copper and tungsten at the company's 51-square-kilometer Deerhorn property, in addition to the gold-silver tellarium resource reported on June 6. Copper showings northwest of the current PEA resource provide evidence of a porphyry system. In September 2012, prospecting and surface sampling identified several copper-gold-silver porphyry-style showings northwest of the indicated and inferred gold-silver tellarium resource. A second area of anomalous porphyry-style copper-gold mineralization occurs on a ridge crest 1.8 kilometers northwest of Kenny Lake on the property. The PEA reported, all of the newly discovered showings warrant follow-up examination. The copper showings, known as pond and H-spot, are discoveries of bulk tonnage, porphyry-style copper plus minus silver mineralization, and associated alteration. These new showings and their broad distribution may be evidence of a largely hidden porphyry copper system. There was also an important tungsten showing at Deerhorn called Harrison Ski Light, which was discovered in 1943, approximately one kilometer southwest of Lindquist Peak. The showing is centered just 250 to 300 meters west of the current PEA Gold Silver Tungsten Resource. This tungsten showing may indicate a separate tungsten porphyry. As noted in the PEA, the main apron of anomalous talus has a sinuous northwest trend and covers an area measuring 485 meters long by an average of approximately 50 meters wide. Systematic sampling of talus from the area yielded an average of 0.34% tungsten trioxide. A 40 meter long trench was excavated through the talus to bedrock. Bedrock samples collected from the western part of the trench averaged 0.84% tungsten trioxide over 18 meters, and bedrock samples collected from the eastern part of the trench averaged 1.55% tungsten trioxide over 22 meters. Sampling of the second, smaller apron of talus produced modest results. Tyrone Dougherty, President and CEO, stated, Economic porphyry deposits are in great demand worldwide. That's why one of our priorities is to gain more information about these discoveries at Deerhorn. Certainly, the metals and the geological settings discovered to date justify a lot more exploration. While our primary focus is to develop our gold-silver tellarium resource, the porphyry targets are generating a lot of interest. The Deerhorn property is emerging as a very valuable multi-target project that warrants extensive exploration and follow-up. Truly, if all we had on the property was the tungsten, we'd be thrilled. But we have an abundance of exceptional opportunities. We're now working with our geological teams to design an exploration program that will evaluate all these targets. The shares are trading at 40 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website at deerhorncapital.ca. Contact Tyrone Dougherty, President and CEO, at 604-789-5653 or email tyrone at deerhorncapital.ca. Investor Relations is handled by Craig Doctor, who can be reached at 604-278-4656 or by email at craig at docsconsultingltd.com. I'm Samantha Deitcher for Investment Pitch Media.